What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. You know, I record this on my phone, so I have to look. Um, this is part two um, of my video. Yes, I messed with my hair because it's fake. And I want it to lay the way I want it to lay. Um, anyway, this is part two to that Jackie Ina video slash your friends are dirty too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I wanted to talk about that giveaway that I won that I've been talking about forever that nobody seems to care about. But it's okay. You don't have to care about it because I care about it. And comments about it's a year ago are irrelevant. Um, but first, before I get into that, I wanted to say that Jackie Ina is Leo. And she is born in August, which to me, you still a Virgo. You still act like one. Uh, <laughs> it was Leo characteristics, though, and Virgo characteristics. Because I know people around me do shit like that. You bide your time and you wait until you have enough anger or frustration to really say something or do something when you should have done something a long time ago. Um, also, I did see a post about videos that are going to be coming out and I won't be watching any of those. Why? Because I want a response. I'm, I'm waiting on an apology for that video that she put out about Petty. I'm waiting on that. We'll see if that ever happens because people like that don't. They don't apologize for shit. Um, but anyway, onward. Um, so this giveaway situation, it was the 4th of July last year, 2017, of course. Um, and I have been following this individual for a while since I believe he was at 52,000 followers, maybe 56,000 followers. One of them around there, he hadn't hit 100K yet. And so the giveaway was for hitting 100K. And like I said before, I never enter giveaways or anything like that because I never see people win them. Like you never hear about the winner. You never see that many unboxing videos with the winnings and stuff. So it's kind of sketch like for you to, to try to grow someone's following, which is what they're doing. You're growing. So this particular post was on a video titled giveaway announced on July 4th in $550 worth of full face of first impressions makeup by Thomas Halbert. So I had been following, like I said, for a while and I thought to myself, well, since I'm very active on his page, well, let me just go ahead and enter this giveaway. Um, so he posted a bunch of pictures and I'll try to put pictures up and stuff. I'm still learning this whole how you, um, what do you call that? How you edit and all that. I'm learning all that stuff. But I screenshot everything because I know how tricksy people can be. And so I wasn't tripping about it. Like I felt like he was an honest individual and I liked his personality. Once again, I liked your personality. I give you a follow and I give you a little bit of my attention. Um, but I liked his comments and I liked how he was for everybody. You know, he was for the women of color. He was for the palest of the pale. Like, you know, he's like, he was one of the girls. Like, you know, hey, but he wasn't. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So July 4th, he posted on that video underneath the video that he was going to have a video or have a giveaway once he reached 100K. Well, that day came and he posted on Snap that he reached it and screamed and showed us his computer and this and that. And I was so excited for him to reach 100K because when you like somebody, you want them to succeed. You want them to grow. You know what I mean? And you want to be along for the ride. Like, it's exciting to see somebody go from that to, you know, just the artist to now an artist with a following and you're part of that following. You want to feel included. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, and I felt included. He was always responsive to my comments. Always liked my comments. Always replied to my comments and all that. And so, um, I thought to myself, let me go ahead and apply. So he posted it on Twitter. And he posted like the rules on like a notepad situation. And then he also showed all the products that were going to be won. 
And so I have my computer right here up so I can look at pictures and, st and such. But um, the picture of the giveaway, it had a bunch of stuff on it. It had like a whole, okay, so you remember that that PR package Mac sent out to everybody with all the drawers in it and it was like really big. This is what he pulled out one of the drawers with all of the lip glosses in it and he put that in the giveaway. Then he put like a couple benefit blushes in the giveaway. Then he put a couple pairs of some lashes in the giveaway. Then there was like some shadow or not shadow insurance. What the hell was it? Like some Too Faced primer. Um, that, that primer, I can't think of what it's called right now. Um, and then it was a Fujifilm camera and what else? It was two highlighters from Too Faced, also the little heart ones. And so I'm thinking to myself, oh, this would be cool to get that shit. You know what I mean? I could put it in my kit or I could use some for myself. Like it will be bomb. So I entered the giveaway and how I entered the giveaway was he just said reply. And so I reply with a picture of Jimin from BTS because that's who his bias is. I told you we both like K-pop and stuff. And so that was something that we also had in common. And so the meme was of Jimin doing like this, you know, being cute and stuff. And so, you know, I just continued to watch the videos. I wasn't worried about my little intro or nothing because I never went shit anyway. So after I replied and everything, he liked it like right away. And I took a screenshot of that. So I have that. Um... And so after that, I didn't think nothing of it again. Then on the 20th was the day that everything was supposed to be settled and he was going to pick a winner. And so he kept continuing to make videos in between that. And I liked and commented on every video that he made, you know, just like normal, being very engaging. Um, and so what happened? So then after that, on the 20th, I was not online like at all because I was at work. I was a caregiver at the time and a medication technician. So I was passing my meds with the oldies, um, <laughs> hanging out at work, but um, making that making that quaint. But anyway, I got a message from him on July 30th and it said, hey boo, you won the giveaway. I'll give you 24 hours to reply. Please give me an email I can contact you at. I didn't see that, I was working. And so I guess all day had passed by and a couple girls on Twitter were like, well, what happened to the girl? Did she ever claim it? Are you going to pick somebody else? And so I seen that and then I saw that I had like a notification. I never got a message on Twitter before, so I didn't know. So I checked my Twitter message, saw that, and I was like, oh, wow, I did. Like, you know, I was all surprised and shit. And so I gave him my email and then I was like, ah, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God. And then so he didn't reply for a while because... You know, it was the next day and everything. 24 hours was almost up. What made me reply is that I seen sis got 20 minutes. And I was like, oh, shit. Well, I better hurry up then. Um, so I was like, well, shit, because he didn't reply. So I was like, am I too late? I got this. I just got the message. And then he was like, no, nah, you're fine. He's all awesome. I'll email you within the next 24 hours for more information. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, thank you so much. I really love your work. And I was like, you're inspiring. And I was like, bruh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from California. So I was like, bruh. And I was like, cool, I'll check my email. I never got no email or nothing. I was waiting around for it. So the next day came, and then he's like, actually, you know what? Just send me your address here. And I was like, okay. So I sent him my address. And I'll be blocking that information out so y'all don't have to see my old address because my cousin still live there. And I don't want nobody coming to get me. <laughs> I'm going to get her for this. Um, anyway, um, I sent him my address and I asked to make an unboxing video. And he was like, of course. He was like, I'll send it out Thursday. And then he told me he didn't have a car. Um, and he's waiting for his boyfriend, Kevin, to pick him up, who I actually followed too. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. So at this time... My boyfriend came to me and said that he wanted to move to Texas. And I was like, now? Like, we, we, I just didn't, I, I'm waiting on my giveaway. Like, can I get my package first? So, you know, I was like, oh shit, well, I probably should try to figure out a way to hurry up and get the package 
But that's not my style. I'm not like a sweating type of person. Like, I'm not about to sweat you for no gift or nothing, no giveaway. And I really needed to figure out what I was going to do. And so I was like, sweet. I was like, you know, um, oh, I responded to him first and I said, sweet, I remember those days. My boyfriend bought me a car three months ago because he did. And I was all hot and hell's in California. Um, blah, blah, blah. You guys can read all that stuff. Um, and I was just checking on the 8th of August to see if he sent that package. So, yeah, so on the 8th, I was like, hey, boo, I'm just wondering if you sent that package. Because I live in the hood. Y'all know when you live in the ghetto and people steal shit out your damn mailbox and they might take a package. And not to mention, UPS will chuck shit in your yard and dip the hell out. And y'all know what I'm talking about. One time we had a weed coming in the mail when it first came out and they threw it in the gutter and left. So I wasn't trying to be, you know, living in the hood, getting a package worth a couple hundred dollars and you throw that shit in my yard and A, my pit bull eats it up or B, a crackhead walks off with my package. Like that would not have been the business. So um, he told me on the 9th of August that yeah, it's sent. Yes. It's sent. I put on the 9th of August, sweet. I said, hey, love, on August 14th, I don't need to be a pest. I haven't gotten your package yet, and I'm moving to Texas in a couple weeks. Do you have the tracking number so that I can try to redirect it to my new address? My family has been home every day and said nothing has come. I didn't hear anything that whole entire 24-hour period. So I'm like, maybe he didn't get it. Um, I know that he went to Jackie Ina's birthday party. And I have seen him all over social media. And I'm the type of person where it's like, if I could track your movements by watching you on your social media, and I see that you're doing this and that, you can't stop by the post office for 10.5 seconds to throw a package in the mail and pay $10.95 to send it seven and a half hours away to Sacramento, California. Seven and a half hours away. Seven. I don't know. So I sent it again on the 15th of August. And I was like, hey, you know, whatever. Same message, just copy paste. On the 15th, like late in the day, then he was like, what the F? He's like, yeah, hold up. Sorry, I'll go to the post office tomorrow. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I put, laugh out loud, my bad. I'm sorry to seem like I'm pressuring you. But I've already displayed and disclosed what was going on. I'm getting rid of all my shit at this point in my house to move the fuck to Texas, okay? I'm talking about I gave all my shit. To the Goodwill, I left some of my stuff at my cousin's house in California. I gave stuff to every person I could get rid of anything to. I gave it to. And I packed up the things that I wanted to keep inside of my small, tiny fucking Honda Accent that my boyfriend bought me. And we moved to Texas. What he didn't understand about I was moving to Texas, I don't know. But I seen the way that everybody else was sweating that girl about that palette, but I'll get into that in a minute. So then later on, he goes like an hour or something later, was like, oh, I'll put together like a goodie bag and then I'll send out, and I'll send it out tomorrow. I'm so sorry. How many times can you apologize for not saying, I'm not looking for an apology. I was just waiting on you to send a package that you already told me that you sent way back a month ago that you didn't really send. And now I see you having a good ass time but you're kind of neglecting your responsibility to send something that you told you was going to give away to your follower. Like, for real. And so I was like, oh, thank you. I was like, you don't even have to do that. My man literally asked me to pick up my life and move to Texas. You know what I'm saying? I gave him the rundown. Um, and I didn't want to, and if I would have left and the package would have come, I would have gave that to my cousin. Like, straight up, I would have just been like, here, Lena, you got this. Because there's no point in you trying to send me something that's expensive and I might not get it living in Texas. And I hadn't acquired my address yet. I didn't even have an apartment to move into yet. We did this shit on a fly. 
he wanted to go and I was not staying in California without my man. I was going. So, um, so on the 16th, I was like, good morning. If it's not too much trouble, can I get the tracking number? You know, just to follow up. I work in customer service. I know how to follow up with shit. That's how you follow up. You ask for stuff in order for, th for things to get done. If I didn't ask for a tracking number, you were going to continue to not send that package, correct? I mean, not like you sent it anyway. But that's what I'm saying. And so um, he didn't respond. So I sent it again later that day, like 5, 6 o'clock. And then I was all, okay, whatever. To myself, I'm thinking, I'm probably not going to get this. This is why people don't. They don't fucking enter these little giveaways and stuff because you know that you're not really about to get shit. Um, so on the 21st of August, I was like, listen, Mr. Halber, I have 10 more days until I move. I was like, you going to send me that package or not? Nah? Like straight up, straight up. I'm very forward. Like I try to be respectful and stuff like that, but I'm very bold. I'm very loud and I'm straightforward. Um, and then he didn't say nothing all day. All, all day he didn't say nothing. So I was like, okay, well, thank you for picking me anyway. Then, like, t almost 12 o'clock, then he was like, give me your new address, exclamation point. What happened to you sending that package later on Thursday after Kevin picked you up? What happened? What happened to what was sent? What happened? Like, you see what I'm saying? The runaround, basically. And so I was like, well, I'm staying at a friend's house until our apartment's ready and I don't have an address, which I, I conveyed. Um, and I was like, I'll just get it. I'll just get at you when I get there, if it's okay. He didn't say anything to that. Nothing at all. So August finished on to September, September 6th. Hey, boo, my address is such and such. I will be locking that out to disclose my new address. Um, and I told him what my zip code was. And I was like, do you think that you may be able to send a package soon? I didn't hear anything. Nothing at all. So then on the 13th of September, you know, that's when I asked him about if he was going to send it. Then later on during that day, I was, I just was fed up with it. I was like... I'm just going to assume that I'm not getting this package. It's been hella long and I've moved several states. This is why people don't believe in giveaways, that they're real. And then I didn't hear anything from him again, but he keeps checking the message. I can see that there's a check mark under it, as I will disclose on the sides, wherever I can stick this at. Um, and then I said on the 28th of September, after not hearing from for a week, weeks, ain't, ain't her chick. Um, I was like, hey, Mr. Halbert, I just wanted to know if I did something that made you rescind the giveaway that um, because I reached out and I haven't responded and you haven't responded. If you give it to somebody else, I understand. But I just wanted to know why I'm not getting this package. Is there a moderator for your Twitter that keeps skipping my messages? If I did something, I would like to know just for myself so I can stop questioning. Thank you. And that's legit, like, to me. That's a legit statement. There's no name calling. There's no ignorance behind it. There was nothing. I literally wanted to know if there was something that I did to you to make you not give me this package. I'm sitting up here waiting for this shit. Who does not want a bunch of MAC lip gloss? Okay? Who doesn't want some fucking highlighters from Too Faced? Who doesn't want some lashes? I don't be wearing lashes when I wear glasses. <laughs> but who doesn't want that? Because I want it. Like, that's some shit that everybody would want. But anyway, so then I just left it alone for a while. Then December, I was like, okay, so what's happening with the giveaway? I'm going to keep on asking. I never heard nothing. Nothing back from him. This is December from September all the way till December. Then December, I just asked, you know, what happened? Never heard a fucking word. Not a single thing from this individual. This is somebody... This is somebody who, who plays it up to be so real. Okay? 
I even stayed following this individual. I said I stayed subscribed to his channel after all of this shit happened. Why? Because I felt like maybe you really are busy. You see what I'm saying? Maybe you can't afford it. Because I know that YouTube people, when they're just starting out, you don't make no money. YouTube stop paying y'all money. I know all that shit. But that doesn't explain to me how come you all up on, on social media all the time, 24 hours a day. You can reply and, and be shysty and shady as shit on Twitter. And call everybody out their goddamn name. And you can say all this fucking slanderous ass shit about everybody else. And then have the audacity to comment on other people's giveaways and shit. And then put on fucking Twitter that you about to have another giveaway. Then when he said it on a video on YouTube, I commented under the video. And I forgot to screenshot that shit because I didn't know how to do it on my MacBook. Now I do. But I commented under that video and I was like, wait a minute. How are you about to have another giveaway when you never gave me the giveaway that you sent me? No fucking response. So one girl, she like got on there. She was like, wait, what? What's going on? And I was like, well, I'm still waiting on the giveaway. The first giveaway that I won that I never received. And she was like, really? And I was like, yeah. I was like, I've been in contact with him this whole entire time. And he stopped responding to me months ago. So how are you about to call somebody else out on not giving some shit away? But you don't give shit away. But you put a video out shortly after talking about how much you love your subscri subscribers. No, you don't love your subscribers. Because if you loved your fucking subscribers, then you would love the ones who are active and who want to give away from you. I said it. I sure did. I don't feel no love in this situation. Not at all. Because if, if I was loved as a subscriber who supported you from 52 to 56,000 followers, subscribers, whatever you want to call them, then you would have sent that fucking package ASAP. I believe you have 30 days to send those once you, once you give them away and somebody wins. That 30 days has come and gone and I gave you more than leeway because I have my own issues. You see what I'm saying? But I felt like I was disrespected, like straight up, because now you ignoring me, but you post pictures every day and you film videos once a week, if that, talking about how you love us and how you're thankful for us and all this. These YouTube people don't give a goddamn about the people who follow them. And this is how they show you that. Because then I went to do a little bit more research and this has happened to several individuals who have won giveaways. But nobody hears them because nobody cares. It's not, it's not about the shit, okay? It's not about the makeup. It's about the fucking principle. You show somebody that you care and you respect them by doing and owning up to the things that you're supposed to, the things that you said. You need to fucking follow through with the things that you promised. This was a broken ass promise. And this was a way for you to get that, to that 100K by using others. Tell your friends, tell your friends. Well, I told my friends and my family and my fucking friends and family set up and followed your motherfucking ass, but you still didn't give me shit. So why have a giveaway if you have no fucking intentions on, give, on, on actually getting that item to that person? You can't afford $10.95 and a fucking flat rate mail package to send a giveaway to somebody? Hell yes, I'm mad. I'm very passionate when I speak about stuff. So for somebody to go in my comments on my Jackie Aina video and tell me that it wasn't that serious over palette, get the fuck out of here with that shit. It's not that serious because you don't understand the connotation of what I'm saying. Which is that you don't show any love to the people who show love to you. There's no reciprocation in this relationship. Therefore, I unfollowed the individual because there's no more relationship. It's okay to somebody else who didn't win to be like, oh, well, you should just let it go. No, I'm not going to let it go because you continue to grow. And you continue to tell people how fucking honest you are. You have people who are bigger than you promoting you saying 
all these nice things about you when you sitting up in their circle being deceptive. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, it is what it is. I didn't get the package. I did investigate a little bit to try to find out if I could do something about it. If there was a way for me to reach out to YouTube or to Twitter. But he deleted the posts, of course, because people call him the, the king or queen of, of post and delete. Because he posted that giveaway and deleted that motherfucker as soon as I won it. That's why all I have are screenshots of the actual prize itself and him writing the giveaway out on his on his page on a notepad because he deleted that shit. It can't be found, but you can find comments and stuff made about the giveaway and who won it. Oh, who won it? I won it. You did? Yeah, but I never got it. <laughs> That's not okay to me to give somebody that much energy. You see what I'm saying? That's why I told you guys in the last video that I take YouTubers with a fucking grain of salt because they're not worth the damn to me when you can't even fulfill a small last promise that you made to somebody. But the fucking kicker is later on he posted a video of, of his room, his beauty room or whatever, his filming setup. And in the box was one of the fucking highlighters that he was supposed to be giving to me in the fucking giveaway. And then you use the fucking, the primer and shit from the giveaway in a different video. I don't want to review on some shit that you were supposed to give to me. I want to review it and put it on the fucking, on YouTube. But I couldn't do that because you never sent it. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And I am I am waiting for an apology from Jackie Ina. I am not waiting on the package that ain't never gonna come from this individual. But I, I take this up as a learning lesson. To don't just be so trustful. And don't give your fucking time and energy to just anyone. Investigate on who you follow. Investigate. You don't need to know all that personal ass business. But you need to know who you're following. You need to pay attention to shit like that because I won't I won't give my time and energy to somebody who can't reciprocate it back to their fans. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me go try to figure out how to stick these motherfucking screenshots in here for y'all. I am waiting on that Jackie Anna apology, by the way, which I know we probably ain't never gonna get. Um, and I'm interested to see how we go forward after this because... That was some treacherous and scandalous. That was a shambles. This whole ordeal was a shambles. <laughs> but thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate it. And thank you for those saying that I need to keep doing this. Because I just got my passion back for it. Um, and if y'all want a tutorial on that look, that is coming shortly. And y'all have a good day. <laughs>